What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. What we're gonna be going through inside of this one is complete free, did I say free? Keyword research tools. I've got seven tools lined up. I did a video last year, but it wasn't as good as this one. So the first one on the list is gonna be Keyword Surfer. So many of you may not actually know what Keyword Surfer is. It's just Surfer SEO's keyword research tool. And what's really cool about this at the moment is they give you a bunch of other stuff as well. So they're not just giving you the keyword research free tool. They're also giving you some other options as well. So you can see here, you can get a free AI outline generator. All that is, is basically it puts together like a kind of template for a post for you using, I believe, Jarvis, the AI robot thingy, Bob. <laughs> so that's what that does. So I put in Google here, but just say, for example, we was talking about how to get fit or something like that. So what you can see here is that it gives you all of these other similar words as well. So you've You've got like start fitness, gym at home, so on and so forth. So it's showing how many results you want per page. So these are kind of short tail keywords. But if we take a look at this, it also shows you the average amount of traffic that the keywords get and the average amount of words that each page within the results have in the top 10. So that's quite useful if you're doing something like SEO. And then we've also got how many times each of the pages on the first result have the exact keyword within their content. So that's quite useful again if you're or trying to blog or do something like that. Now, when you come over to this tool as well, you can actually see uh, that it shows you the average traffic of a website, the total amount of words they have on a page. You can copy it to clipboard and you can change the location based on wherever it is you're trying to do your research. So you essentially just use the Google search engine and it gives you all of the average monthly searches with that. If you've ever kind of used keywords everywhere, then it's almost exactly the same as that. This is just the new free one until they maybe decide to monetize that feature down the road. Okay, so the next one on the list is one that many of you probably never heard of and that's Ahrefs free keyword generator. So this gives you around 150 terms for any seed keyword that you plant into the tool. Now what's really handy about having this tool specifically is the fact that you can double this up with organic keywords within your own given website because you have this Ahrefs webmasters that they've now opened up. But what's really good about this is you can separate it for Google, Bing, Amazon or YouTube and it also gives you a keyword difficulty score based on Ahrefs resources. Why that's really beneficial is because if we're doing keyword research for Google, Ahrefs keyword difficulty allows us to find terms that have low competition in the top 10 results and it's an opportunity for us if we see a low authority site with no backlinks and sometimes under optimized. So if we were to type in how to get fit into this tool again, we can see see that it's now given us 100 keywords here and then 50 keywords in the question section. So you can have phrase match or you can have questions to see all of the questions that people are asking around this particular topic. So we can see all of these different keywords and the rest is all she wrote. <laughs> now in third place is a tool called WordStream. It's a little bit different to the others because the way this works specifically for SEO is by you drumming in a competitor's post then trying to find the keywords that they're ranking for. So if you identify something that you believe to be of somewhat low competition, then this is a really great tool to drum in and find all the keywords that they're showing up for so you can potentially go and target those keywords as well. We actually put in an example on how to get fit. I just found the first post on Google and then we get access to all of this free data. So it's really cool because we can see 5K sign up, marathon, local running distances, so on and so forth. So there's 25 out of 500 that you're actually getting access to here. And and you can email those keywords to yourself, gives you average monthly search volume based on Google ads, cost per click if you were gonna run some kind of campaign on this, search volume on Bing, and this is specifically more tailored for paid ads, okay? So if you're really focused on paid ads, I would say it's more beneficial for that than it is for SEO, but it can still be a great tool in some circumstances to quickly identify or reverse engineer your competitors that are of low competition in Google's results. So fourth place, we've got Google Trends, and this is one of my favorite tools. I use this on a regular,
regular basis. And what's really good about this is it gives you all of the information directly from Google. It's a really great tool to identify the average popularity around a given term. So it doesn't give you specific metrics, but it does give you a general idea of how popular a term is. Let's drum in the example that we've used throughout the video, which is how to get fit. And what you're able to do is change this, whether you want it to be for YouTube or for Google, and you can set the country that you want to search in. So if we were to use United States, it would specifically target the United States. Now, what we can do as well with this is we can have a look at whether it's the past seven days, five years, however long you wanna go back in regards to seeing how popular this particular term or topic is. If we just take at the last 12 months, because that's usually what we're trying to gauge or the keyword research tools use anyway as a gauge. And then we've got all of these different terms. Now, what's really cool about Google Trends in comparison to the other tools is it actually gives you these breakout topics. So if there's something that others haven't capitalized on yet, it's a really great opportunity for you to quickly find some hidden terms inside of this tool. One of the other things is it tells you where it's most popular around the globe. So when we actually have a look at here, you can see South Dakota, Utah, Maine, Hawaii, all of these different places are where this particular topic is being most popular. This is very beneficial for whether you're an SEO blog, a YouTube channel, or even paid ads, because you can really see where the audience is and particularly how to go around crafting your content for them. Now, one of the other things you can do with this is compare it to other topics, okay? So we could put in like paleo diet or something like that. And what it will do is it will show us how popular the topic is that we initially put in against the new topic that we just drummed in. So you can see paleo diet is like almost dead here. And then we can see uh, how to get fit, you know, is, is way, way, way more popular. And I do realize I've made a mistake there, but hey, we're not perfect. Absolutely amazing tool. And I would highly recommend that if you are building blogs that you really use this tool more often than not to identify a niche that you want to get involved with or a topic that you want to target for a cluster of different posts. It's really good to kind of figure out that stuff. The next one on the list is a tool called Keyword Shitter. All right, so yes, that's what it's called, but you could also use the clean version if your kids are around and you want to hide what you're doing from them and use Keyword Sheeter, which I believe is the same owners that have created a new tool that's a bit more PG friendly. All right, so what this tool is, is you come in and you do the same thing, whether it's one or the other, and you drum in whatever it is you're trying to get, and then it just goes to work. So if we take a look at this, both of them do the exact same thing, and it just finds you a bunch of different phrase match terms. Now, where this really comes in very handy is particularly for SEO if you're trying to target a cluster of different articles, but also if you're trying to do paid ads and you want to target all these exact match keywords, it's a great tool for that because you can see all the different variations that someone's particularly typing in. So you can see how to get fit by swimming, how to get fit body, how to get fit by running, how to get fit by walking. There's so many different varieties. So if you had a topic or a cluster on your website talking about getting fit, these are all the kind of subtopics that you could create a post on specifically nailing each of these down every single time. And you can see this will just keep going and keep scraping. It's already found 392 keywords at the time of recording this video. So you can see that this is a very good tool, absolutely brilliant and very helpful if you're looking for a, free a more tool. popular tool in the most recent times, which is called Answer the Public. This is a fantastic tool for just brainstorming to get a general idea of the types of things or avenues you can go down. So what you do is you come in here and you put in something very broad. So you would put in like fitness and you just click search. So you can set the language that you're trying to search in and you can also set the country as well. So what you'll find with this is it pulls out a bunch of questions, prepositions, comparisons, and related searches. And it gives you this mind map kind of view, but you can also switch to the data view, which is what I prefer personally. And it gives you all these different questions that people are asking. So can fitness watches cause cancer? Can fitness be a hobby? So on and so forth. So it just gives you a different way of looking at the search terms. And these are all the things that people are actually typing in to search engines. So it's very valuable and it gives you different context of how you can generally go about building content. So so I think it's an absolutely amazing tool. It doesn't give you the actual volume of how many times something is being searched a month, similar to keyword Sheeta in the previous example, but still generally a great tool. A lot of SEOs these days just come into a tool like this, drum something in and go and target a bunch of these question type keywords. Okay, so last but not least is gonna be Google's key
keyword planner. And the reason why is because this is an absolutely amazing tool specifically for paid ads, but can also be used for SEO because at the end of the day, we're trying to rank in Google and they're the ones who are gonna give us the most accurate and most beneficial information around their search engine. So what you would need to do is create a free Google Ads account, start up a campaign and cancel it immediately. So you don't actually have to pay for ads, but you do have to set up an account as if you were gonna go and run ads. Unfortunately, that's the only downside of this particular tool, okay? But you don't have to pay any money. Just remember that it's completely free. So it's as simple as coming to tools and settings and then you go to keyword planner and it will give you access to their tool. So when we click discover new keywords, we could put in how to get fit and then we click get results. What's really good about this is it will give us the level of competition based on Google's paid advertising campaigns, all right? So we can see the average kind of volume on a given keyword, how much it would cost at the top end to pay for on a cost per click basis and then the lowest people are paying for it as well. What it's really good for if you're doing SEO is it gives you a bunch of different variations of the given keyword. So how to get better across XYZ, how to become fit at home, blah, 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 blah. So absolutely amazing tools. Those are all completely free. So forget all the hype that you see in all those other videos because these are completely free and it's not the obvious ones that you always hear about. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button, destroy it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new, subscribe because I've got plenty of videos just like this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You can see South Dakota. South Dakota seems pretty similar to keyword shitter, key, keyword sheeter, but still generally.